Hello, my dear friends. This is a painty cat. My name is Catherine. Today we're going to paint a really cute and adorable piggy. It's a symbol of the next year. And also we will paint Christmas wreath around. It's a demonstration tutorial for full real-time version. Welcome on my Patreon. Subscribe me there and we will create this watercolor painting together step by step. Uh, here on a demonstration tutorial I want to tell you about main steps and about techniques we're gonna learn and use in this composition. About sketch it's looking kind of mm, let's say not easy to create so this sketch you can find on my Patreon as well. It's easy to print. Please print it on just a usual normal print paper. After you can transfer it on a very good quality watercolor paper. I have a very short and easy tutorial on my channel on YouTube how to transfer sketches on a watercolor paper. And as soon as you did it, we're ready to start. We starting with wet on wet techniques and we creating background. I choose this color, it's a grayish blue. And this color will help us to create transparent ribbon later. As soon as background done, we have to be sure it will dry completely. I'm using hair dryer to dry it faster than just on a normal way. And next step, we are ready to create Miss Piggy. Probably you noticed now, I'm starting with very, very soft and light color first. It will help us to paint with watercolor without any huge mistakes. We building up tone and color layer by layer. So first it's just a basic color. You can see now it's a pink, very light one, but I already can plan what areas gonna look darker and what areas gonna look lighter. So I'm already working on volume. We have darker eye areas under the chin, around eyes. As soon as first layer I did with wet on wet technique, I can easily blend now. All areas looking very soft without any visible edges. And now I can build up a color a little bit more. Again, no any dark red. It's still very light, very transparent. And you can notice I have a dry, na dry napkin on my left hand. I'm touching the surface and I'm removing the extra color with water. Maybe you know on some areas I did too much color so I can remove it very fast with a dry, na dry napkin. And also the nose tip. I'm using a different colors for just a pink skin. Now it's already visible, you can notice the nose area and area around the eyes looking colder. It's not just a red, not just a scarlet red. This mix already contains a bit of carmine. Why? 
I'm using permine as well because some details on a face, on a head of Teke, I want to create more visible and attentive. So there, I'm using Elsa Carmine on just on a skin tone, possible to use just a scarlet red. Next layer. Now, when I already plant well all dark areas, I can go for smaller details inside of it. So, eyelids, nostrils. It's possible to create on this step. Also, you can see I'm changing my brushes. Sometimes I'm working with a big one. But on a smaller details, I'd say it's more safe to go for smaller sized brushes. And yeah, it's a skin steel, so we're blending well. No any sharp edges yet. Only sharp edge right now we have here in the center on a nose tip. It's a nostrils. Yes, there you can go for sharp edges from the first layer. But still, color of the inner area on nostrils not dark yet right we will do it darker a little bit later now we creating a shape we placing colors there where we need to create a deeper shadows when i'm saying shadow it doesn't mean i'm adding a black into a mix no it's just a more pigmented watercolor more color from the box and less water. Even if it's a shadow, we're not mixing the black or brown. If we will mix black or brown for shadow parts, the final result will look, mm, you know, a little bit dirty. But it's a still a new year our greeting card. So yeah, we wanna see really colorful, saturated colors. It's a time to create eyes now. Again, I'm not looking black here. It's a sepia. And also, you can see I created light in the eyes. I did it by reserving clear paper with the tip of my brush. I created also eyelids now. And as soon as you're sure with eyelid shape, it's possible to create lashes. For more softer look, Again, don't go for black, go for sepia. It will create a very gentle and soft look. It's same as we have about mascara, you know. If you want to create softer look for your own eyes, you will go for brown mascara. If you want a more dramatic look, then go for black. Time to create deeper tone area on a smile line and inside of the nostrils. Here we have a shadow. This area have to be lighter than a shadow under the nose tip, but still quite dark. And again, we're blending well. This is a very thick paper, 
really nice quality this is a lana uh, paper it's a uh, 300 grams this kind of watercolor paper uh, can handle water in a middle layer for a really long time it's helping to me to blend layers all together without visible edges if you will take thin paper about 160 or 200 grams it will be harder to blend We have a shadow here under the headband. I'm gonna create polka dot on it. I think it's just looking cute. Next, we're gonna paint ears, right? Here I will use technique with a half dry brush to create interesting looking details on the ears. And on the next step, before we will be able to create a ribbon on a head, we have to wait till ears will dry completely. If we will be too rushing on this step and we will go straight for our ribbon, we are risking with the colors there. For ribbon, I'm gonna use cobalt blue, right? So if cobalt blue will floating into the wet ears area, it will give me a violet and this mistake will be really tricky to fix. Some details um, possible to fix you know very accurate it will be not visible at all in the end and I will demonstrate you in the very end uh, of this uh, tutorial how to do it how to fix some tiny mistakes but some dramatical ones not possible to fix uh, what a color it's a transparent colors so uh, we have to be accurate yes and uh, we have to wait till um, we will go to the next step. While waiting, it's possible to create beautiful wreath around. I like red berries. You know, for Christmas wreath, it's looking very decorative and beautiful. And this time, um, I choose uh, berries from the rose, oh, it's calling a foot, I'm not sure though. Anyway, uh, these berries have a red color and uh, I really like how it's looking. Uh, twigs also kind of wavy. And uh, first, usually I'm creating most important details on a, any wreath here. It's a berries and a leaves. After I'm connecting important details with the twigs and as a final step for wreath I'm creating very light small twigs in empty areas between the main objects. Different twigs have different colors. See, I'm not going with just a dark sepia. Some twigs, very, very light. It's green, light 
and hold transparent. And as soon as we're done with the left half of breathe, we're able to continue rhythm. Color, it's just the same as a background. That's why it's giving an effect of half transparency. Again, I'm going for very light shade first. I want to be sure in the shape of the ribbon. Later, when I will be sure in it, some of parts I will do a little bit darker. I wasn't using hair wet and wet, so the main area dried already very fast and I'm able to create details on it straight away. First, it's a line all around ribbon. And another detail, I think it's just a cute, I adore this kind of ribbons, it's a polka dot. Just, you know, first keep really nice distance between polka dots. Each one have to be kind of far from another ones. Another moment, if you're going on a dark area into a fold and you're creating that polka dot, it can look darker, go for darker uh, color. If you're painting polka dot on a white area of ribbon, go for lighter shade. That's it. This way, this pattern will look very volumed. Next one, it's a brooch in a Santa. It's repeating, it's just the same fruits or berries that we created for wreath. And steps basically the same. First, go for main shapes, for most important ones, it's a berries that I sell, and leaves, and then connect everything together with a twig. These small green leaves on top forming a crown. It was an idea, so I, I have to tell you about it, right? Because it's a princess of the next year. As soon as we're done with the brooch in the center of the ribbon, let's go for right side of the wreath. Same steps, absolutely same steps. Main parts first, main details first, and then we're connecting all together with the small twigs. Colors of leaves here are kind of important. Don't go for too bright and juicy and fresh green. It will give um, a warm feeling. It's late fall leaves that's still sitting on a small twigs, right? Imagine those. They can't be too green and fresh. It has to be already a bit yellow. And also, don't go for too contrasted and dark leaf color. Go with a light and gentle. Some twigs and branches can cross each other. It's just looking natural. And some of twigs have a different color main one like main line looking darker right with a sepia small additional ones looking more light and green i'm connecting the shape of wreath it's a circle shape i'm connecting everywhere but on top behind of the ribbon i'm going for very light shaded details. I already have very big brooch 
on a ribbon in a center so I don't wanna take attention out of this and I wanna keep these three berries in the center of the ribbon as the most important details. As soon as we're done with the wreath, all we have to complete is a lax. My dear friends, this tutorial not hard to complete if you know what to do. Again, on real-time tutorial, I will command each step. I will give you all instructions about brush changing and a color mixing. But we have so many details here, so be patient. The whole tutorial in real time taking one and a half hour, so be prepared for it. Now I have to complete this part, it's a lax, left one, crossing, right one. I promise to you to demonstrate how to fix some mistakes and it's very easy to do with white watercolor. It's still half transparent, but it's just enough to fix some tiny lines that you probably don't like in the end. Also, you can create some light areas more visible. For example, here on a nose, maybe here, white watercolor have low coverage, so it can't fix really huge mistakes, but in the end it will help to you to add maybe, you know, some light if you missed it on any berry, or you can create softer looking lines somewhere and also as a last step i want to not just assign this watercolor i wanted to add one more decorative element it's a small tweak under my sign leaf and a berry that's it, my dear friends. If you have any questions, you can ask me here on the comments. Also, welcome on my Patreon. I will wait for you on a real-time tutorial. Please follow me on my Instagram and Facebook, and there you can share to me your paintings. Please don't forget about hashtag PaintyCat. I wish you all the best, and bye-bye.